everybody. So today I just wanted to do a bit more of a chilled out video, a bit more relaxed. So if you're a bit of an art supplies freak like me, you may have heard of these subscription boxes going around. I've seen like a few different ones on Instagram. It's basically like a box that gets sent to you every month with different art supplies in. And I've always thought like, I don't know how that works because obviously it costs money but you're not necessarily getting supplies that you've chosen. So. I never really knew how I felt about them. I thought I'd give a box a go, and this is Scroller Box. So Scroller Box were kind enough to send me this. It's not a sponsorship at all. They were just really kind enough to send me one. So I thought, why not share it with you guys in case you guys are wondering what exactly they are as well. So I'll show you what's inside. Let's see what's in here. Okay, there's a little card here that says, um, the scroller challenge okay this is cool it says each month we provide you with a selection of art supplies and inspirations but we also want to boost your creativity so we're also giving you a challenge to be interpreted in any way you wish see if you can create something using only the supplies in the box good luck and don't forget to share your creations with us hashtag scroller challenge okay that's quite cool might give that a try oh and here's a little card that says everything that's in the box. So let's have a look first because this is pretty exciting. So we've got some brushes. This is really, really sad as well. Um, but as any of you who maybe like have bought art supplies or something, you saved up for a while to get like this really cool one that you've wanted for ages. Does anyone else like save the packaging? Or like try and open it really carefully? I do that all the time. I have a drawer just for packaging. It's really, really lame. Whoa. Ah, now they feel actually really nice quality. So I would probably say that these, these are best for acrylic. So brushes, sea white golden synthetic brush set. Small collection of synthetic brush sizes and shapes to give you a selection of tools to choose from when testing out your new paints. Be sure to clean your brushes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm looking forward to using them because they actually look like really nice quality ones. Right, I can't ignore these paints here because they're catching my eye. Okay, so we've got four acrylic paints. I've never actually heard of this brand before called Amsterdam All Acrylics. It says made in the Netherlands, which is kind of cool. So, I mean, these aren't generally the kind of colours I would go for. It'd be good in these subscription services if you could choose a theme or colour or something like that to give you some control because generally I don't use a lot of these colours. But it would be still fun to try out a new brand of paint because I am actually really curious to see what this brand is like and whether I like them. So for colours, we've got Naples Yellow Red. We've got yellow light, uh, which is oxide black, and burnt sienna. Oh, this looks cool. So this looks like a retractable pencil, which is actually really handy because I do have a couple of mechanical pencils, but they are like the cheapest ones. You know, where they're literally like five for a pound or something like that. So this is actually going to be really, really handy, and it's great for taking out when you've got your sketchbook. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> When you've got your sketchbook and you're out and about, this is really, really handy because obviously it's got a rubber and you don't need to sharpen it because it's a retractable one. Acrylic marker. This is really cool packaging. Let me show you. That's going to be quite interesting because I've actually never used an acrylic marker before. I'm quite interested to see. I mean, obviously, we've all used a permanent marker or a Sharpie pen, but never an acrylic marker. So I'm guessing it's kind of like paint in a pen. Yeah, so it's definitely paint and is water resistant, so that's really, really cool. Little lolly, which is a perfect little treat while you're painting. Actually, you know what's really nice about this is it makes doing this challenge, or if, if that's if you want to do the challenge, and I think I'm going to have a go, but it you could make it like a really nice little evening, so you could get your candles going, your relaxing music going, just have like a really relaxing time. And we get a cool little sticker, which I think is the Scroller Box logo. Now this is, oh, a little palette, that's cool, and um, this is an art print. Featured artist is Anatomics, she creates symbolic modernist works inspired by philosophy, theology, mathematics and science fiction. Wow, 
That's intense. That is really cool. So I think that you can use this as inspiration to create your own painting or you can create something completely different. Okay, and then we get this nifty little palette. So it's like card and it says use this palette to mix your paints but don't use the brushes to blend them. Cut the corners off this sheet and use those to create your new colours. I think they're trying to go down the palette knife route with the corners, but I'm not a fan of that. I think I might just use my brush, to be fair. Um, and also, last but not least, some paper. But this feels like really, really posh paper. Really thick and it's got a lovely like surface texture to it. So this paper is 400 grams. Wow, that's actually pretty thick, which I, I can tell. Basically, it's designed for acrylics. <laughs> I ain't reading all that, but... That's actually a really nice paper because it feels more like canvas, to be honest. But it's really great, you know, if you haven't got um, a lot of place to store paintings. I actually really like this paper. In fact, I might actually consider purchasing some of this paper on its own. That is everything. So I think I'm going to go ahead now and try and make something using just these supplies and see how we get on. So there we go, I had a couple of goes at creating artwork with just the supplies in the box. Didn't even have a white which was very very difficult. So these are what I came up with, a fox and a portrait. I don't think either are particularly successful but there we go, that's what happens when you experiment. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it just was a little bit fun and I also want to say thank you to Scrollerbox for sending me this month's art supplies. Um, I will link Scrollerbox down below if you want to check them out. Thanks so much!